I'm going to start with the Cisco ASA end and I'm going to configure it using the ASDM. If you don't know how to connect to the ASDM, I'll put the link up there. And you want to go to the wizard and you want the site to site VPN wizard. Put in the peer IP address or the IP address on the outside interface of your Juniper SRX firewall. Next, like version 1. Next, now the local network is the network behind the ASA, and by default, you should have inside network. Now, a remote network is the network behind the Juniper. Now, I've already got a network object created. If you don't, you can just simply add one in. But I've already got one for the network behind the Juniper. Next, pre shared key. I'm simply going to use 123456. Next, we're going to use a pre shared key, triple days, and SHA 1. I want to enable perfect forward secrecy using Diffie Hellman Group 2, and I want to exempt all traffic from NAT translation. Next, and finish. Now don't forget to save the changes on the asset. You need to go up to File and save the running configuration to Flash. Now I'm not going to execute this because this is my production firewall. I don't want to put that in. But you would to save the config. OK, to configure the other end, or the Juniper, connect to the web console of your Juniper firewall and log in. Now I'm going to do this wizard driven. Go up to tasks, configure VPN, launch VPN wizard. We want a site to site VPN. Give the tunnel a name. What's going to be the local zone? Here it's the trusted. And add in the subnet that is behind the Juniper. Don't forget to put the subnet mask in slash notation on the end of the IP address. Interface is going to be ST0.0. .0. And that's serving the untrusted zone. And I'm selecting the interface that is in use on the public network, which is 0, .0, 0.0. Type in the IP address of the Cisco ASA firewall at the other end of the VPN. And you will also need to type in the LAN that is behind the Cisco ASA. Again, you need to put the network address slash subject uh, subnet mask. Next, compatible. We want main mode and use the same shared key. Again, compatible. Next, accept all defaults. Next, review your settings. And click commit. Now normally this will be all you need to do however to talk to a firewall that is manufactured by non-Juniper there are a couple of other hoops that you need to jump through before it'll work. Okay no we don't want to configure any more tunnels So, open IPsec VPN, Auto Tunnel, Phase 2. Select your Auto Key VPN and select Edit. And on the second tab, you need to use Proxy Identity and you need to type in the network that is local to us, i.e., behind the Juniper, and the one that is behind the ASA, using the same notation that you used earlier.
Click OK. Now it's complaining that it wants to commit the changes, but we need to make another change. First, if you go to Security, Zones, select your Untrusted Zone, Edit, and you want Inbound Traffic Interface, select the Physical Interface and add in Ike as an Interface Service. Apply the changes and finally commit the changes to the running configuration on the Juniper Firewall. OK. Now just to prove this isn't all smoke and mirrors, if I drop to command line on this machine, if I do an IP config you'll notice that I'm behind the Juniper, I've got 172.16 address, and if you remember the IP address behind the ASA was 10.254.254, I've got a host on dot .5, just to prove that our VPN tunnel is up and established. That's us done, both end configured and the changes saved. Thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to come and visit us at www.patenetlife.com.